welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to the Vix. Um, this this um video, this video, is supposed to be a day in the life of me of TV. But more, I think it's it's more than just like a day in the life of TV. It's a day in the life of a attorney because hmm. obviously that's what I do you all know that already and I've been asked to do this video a couple of times um and I and I didn't want to do it during COVID because I was just like oh why did I want to do it I, I don't want to do it through COVID because I was working from home and I'm just like my life is not that very it's not that interesting right so I was like okay get the years I want to go back to work and then we just never like fully went back to work and then uh, someone was saying to me yesterday ah Tidi, we haven't seen a, a video of you in so long like we're waiting for a video and i was just like you know what get the head on this day in the life now i'm gonna do the day in the life um so it's the video this is the video i'm still in my gown i'm not gonna tell you the time <laughs> Because I don't want, you know, I don't want my, 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 my boss to see this. But yeah, I'm sitting in my gown. Um, you know what? Uh, the plan, the plan today was to wake up in the morning. Uh, the first thing that I normally do when I wake up in the morning, I make breakfast for my, not breakfast, but breakfast and lunch for my husband. And then, um, so that then he gets ready for work and then I do that. And then, uh, usually, usually I then like sit in my gown and work my gown for a little bit. So today was not the plan. The plan was to wake up at six in the morning and to like get ready, do everything, you know, bath, do everything, and then go to and then go to work, right? And show you the process. So now it's like ten o'clock and as I say I'm still in my gown, but that's not the point because I can still do my, my job very well in my gown, in my comfortable gown, and it's very cold outside. But anyway, so today I'm I'm going I'm going to I'm actually gonna to go to work. I was not going to go to work, but I might go to work today. Um, so you might not necessarily see the day in the life as it should be or how it normally is. Like, you know, um, as, it, as, it was, as it was post-COVID. Because I mean, post-COVID, I'd wake up in the morning, I would like bath, I would go to gym, I would go to work and like stay work until late. But now my life is a little bit different. So I suppose this video should be called the day in the life of an attorney working from home slash working from work but anyway follow me today i'm gonna go get ready now okay guys so as i said i'm about to get dressed um i'm looking for an outfit um this is this is where my wardrobe is in the house um i don't have the benefit of having a wardrobe in my my main bedroom because my husband has so many clothes but um yeah so i'm just gonna pick an outfit quickly um i don't know what i'm gonna wear but i'm gonna pick one and then i'm gonna show you once i'm done okay I've decided on an outfit and you know, I just remember today was the day that I got admitted a year ago. So I'm wearing my pants, my pants, my admission pants. Don't, don't worry about what's happening outside. I'm wearing my, my admission pants and I'm going to wear a jersey because it's quite cold. And the jersey, I'm not going to wear my full admission outfit and my jersey. And then I'm going to get ready. I'm going to go um, because I'm like, this was an easy outfit to choose actually. So I'm going to do that. And then um, I'm going to look for shoes. Shoes, I'll probably wear black shoes because I'm wearing all black and just a nice jacket on top. And then Tlavona, this is just, you know. And the thing is, we don't actually have to dress formally at work um, since COVID and stuff. But I just like, I like to distinguish when I'm home and when I'm at work. So this is one of the things that I do. So, yeah. Okay, guys, this is what I'm wearing, as I said. Um, this is how I look. I look cute. I think I look cute. And then, so it's just a jersey and literally just... Uh, my admission pants. Remember my admission video. Those of you that don't remember my, my English. Those of you that don't remember my admission video, it's time for you to go and check it out. I'm gonna put the link in right now. Um. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Just a quick, easy outfit to work. Um. I want to show you my shoes. I'm wearing granny shoes because I can't find my other shoes. But I like the shoes. They're very comfortable. Um. And very work friendly so i'm gonna show you my shoes quickly uh i don't know if you're gonna be able to see as i said these are my granny shoes that i'm wearing i'm just gonna show you my granny shoes quickly can you see those these these little i am going to work now i'm leaving our apartment and i'm going oh my gosh guys vlogging is hard eh? it's nice but i understanding but yeah i'm going to work I have my laptop bag right here. I 
don't know if you can see it and then I have my little gym bag for after work that's if I even go to the gym but I'm just gonna go now um, to work I'm in a little bit of a hurry because I feel like I've just been wasting a lot of time with this um, vlog but yeah anyway um, whew, my hand is tired guys can you please recommend how do people do vlogs like my hand you are my car into the office um, I'm in the basement parking as you can see it's a little bit dark down yeah. here Beyonce, but I'm yeah also just the before it's too late um I just I'm gonna go into the office now and competition practice team I think we are the only ones on this floor if I'm not wrong all the other departments are below us um, so yeah this is me we basically sign in with these little access cards everywhere we go I'm signing in again okay. oopsie sorry is anyone here? there's no one in the office Absolutely no food. It's just me. It was me yesterday, it's me today. This is my office. I share an office with other associates. This is where I sit when I come to the office. Uh, it's quite hot actually, let me take this thing off. And it's very quiet now because of COVID. So there's like nobody here. I think I'm the only person here, I don't know. My boss might be here, but I'm not sure. Because he's usually quite, he's usually here a lot. But today I think I'm the only one. Uh, so we're going to start working. Well, I've already started working in the morning. Uh, I'm going to continue working. And as I said, I'm not going to show you every single thing that I do. Like when I jump on calls and stuff, I won't obviously show you that. Because that's like private stuff, right? 
but I hope this is sufficient. I hope this is you getting a little bit of a a a snippet in a snippet in if guys English is shopping me these days a snippet in what it looks like to be a lawyer in South Africa for the kind of lawyer that I am and as I was saying to you actually maybe let me talk about that for a little bit um, at Bowman's I am in I'm an associate right as I said in the competition practice team what does that mean essentially like if we if we have to talk about ranking right the ranking goes as such it's C, it's CA and it's associate senior associate partner equity partner and everything else after that I don't really know what's after that but that's what that's how the ranking goes so I'm pretty much very junior in my position um, as I only did only start becoming an associate last year so I'm basically an associate too in the competition practice team so the competition practice team at Bowman's falls under under corporate and so we have I could what I could group them into three like litigation banking and finance and corporate and then under corporate we have competition right where we deal only with competition issues I would say that our primary our primary act that we deal with on a daily basis like every single day is the competition act right the, the South African competition act um, but obviously as much as we do South African law we do because Bowman's is, is very much an African regional law firm we do um, um, competition law in other African jurisdictions right so we do whatever we do in South Africa we can do in, in other African countries the thing about working at a big five firm is that your clients are usually it's either high network individuals or even high network companies so it's very rare that we'll act for like a like a smaller it's more the small person like a, an individual I mean we do not that we don't do it at all it's just that I think people that um, like individuals if you've got a problem you'd rather go to a smaller law firm because it's probably going to be cheaper in terms of fees whereas if you come to a company like Bowman's it's expensive right so um, and I, not to say that clients not to say that high network clients don't find it expensive I just think that they are probably they probably have the funds to be able to pay our fees whereas a small Yana business person may not necessarily have the funds to pay our fees um, usually so um, yeah so that's what we do on a daily basis I would say um, my job it depends I mean it depends on a daily basis what I'm doing what I'm working on um, but my job is to really provide the support between the partners and it's like you when you when you're in the middle it's like you have to kind of guide the juniors below you so the CAs and then you have to also kind of manage expectations of the partner so you basically the middle person uh, you give out the instructions to the juniors that you were given by the partner or the senior associate and then um, sometimes you don't give out those instructions sometimes you just do the instructions yourself depending on the complexity of the instruction right um, and it depends obviously on the complexity of the matter as well um, regarding the number of people that are on a transaction sometimes it can just be me and a partner sometimes it can be me a partner and a CA sometimes it's me a partner associate senior associate and a, a and other partners so it depends usually with like a small match like one of the small matches I'm working on it's just me and a partner because it's like obviously we're trying to constrain fees as I said to you it's expensive we're trying to constrain fees but also trying to not put too many people that are not necessary on a matter right but obviously the more complex the more uh, the, yeah the more complex the transaction is the more high value the transaction is is usually when we have um, either different partners from different teams so other other practice areas or even uh, different partners from our team depending on the complexity of the matter right so that's kind of how it goes in this team um, uh, our working hours are a bit they def they depend uh, I wouldn't say they're that bad but they're not you, we don't work at nine to five, right? Um, you work. Uh, I wouldn't even say like at nine. You work until you feel like you've done enough for the day to be able to fulfill your duties as an associate. If that means working until three o'clock in the morning, then that means working until three o'clock in the morning. But that can also look like 
um, sometimes when it's not very busy, you can work a normal day and chase like a five. But that depends on the busyness of the team at the time, right? So it depends. I, I, there, there isn't like a, a set, okay, how this is how it is or this is how it isn't. And so I think that's quite important for people to realize, okay, we don't, I wouldn't say, I mean, we have contract hours, but those, we, we work definitely outside of those hours because of the demand and the, the, the requirement to always meet client demands. Okay, well, I'm going to the library now. I need to get a book. I actually need to get rules, but now the only issue is that I don't even know how to look for them on Sabinet, so I'm just gonna go to the library because I think that's just easier. Because I don't want to rely on the wrong version. So, I'm going to the library. The library is on. It's on. Look at what floor is it on? 15. 15th floor. So that's where I'm going now. Just, I'm just gonna get what did we say? the uniform rules of court and just come back with those. We sanitize, you see? I'm not even playing. Sanitizing my hands. Okay. Where do I find court rules, guys? Let me show you our breeze. I'm going to my office now again back to my reality um yeah so sometimes i just prefer to take like to have like the hard copy uh, i do quite struggle to find the rules like i found them on juta guys this is Oslerato. The CA, Zama doesn't want to be in my camera, guys. <laughs> so we're going to keep hiding her. <laughs> Every time you show up, I'm going to hide you. Um, so we're going to see Edsel to get some coffee. It's a thing, guys. We Lawyers get coffee, get <laughs> I'm joking. Um, yeah, so we're going there now. I'm so tired. It's half past four in the afternoon. And I'm so tired. I'm so sleepy. I don't know why, because I'm always like sleepy after I've eaten and I haven't eaten today, so I don't know. But uh, half past four in the afternoon, still working. Um in in the in this in this field when you're working at like five, it's like, oh, have you had lunch? You know. <laughs> and yeah, so it's still a bit early for us to knock off. But I wanna go to the gym today. I haven't been to the gym in like maybe in like four months. It's really, really been bad. We're going back to the gym today, um, and I've got a class at six, so I'm probably gonna leave here around half past five. Then um, gym until like what? Until 
quarter to seven. Drive home, cook, and then um, continue working if required. If I don't want to say if required, because it could be required, and then I would have to continue working, or it could not be required. But for now, we're still working, we're still pushing, and I think the one thing that um, I remember that I really struggled with when I was a CA and I just started working was it was that thing of like being at work for like long hours you know in varsity like you, you, you like have classes sometimes during the day sometimes you don't even have classes at all but here it's like you have to always be here and by the time it, like 3 o'clock I was done I was done with the day I was done with life uh, so yeah I think that was one of the things I really struggled with just like being able to concentrate for long periods of time and like waking up very early in the morning I used to wake up when I was a CA I used to wake up at I used to leave how the ho I used to leave my house at five because I was learning how to drive and I wasn't trying to drive in traffic so I was leaving home at five o'clock I would wake up at like quarter past four and half past four if I was late uh, get ready, go to the gym, come to work, uh, be at work really early because obviously like I was just and I and I used to stay fine. Eh? I used to stay at home. So I was staying I was staying at home and um, it was an hour away from work. And I did that for three years. No I'm lying. Even longer like, maybe four years, three, three and a half years. I did that. I drove all the way and I just I think it's book I, I don't even know what the reason was but I think I just liked the idea of having money and I wasn't trying to be paying rent for nobody. So I stayed at home for as long as I did and I suffered through it. Uh, sometimes it wasn't that bad, but I think after I learned how to drive, it was better. But I would wake up in the morning, uh, like imagine you awake, got up at four. Then you have to go to the gym, you at work at like seven, you're working and then we work long hours. Sometimes we chase a couple of sometimes we chase a couple of seven or oh, eight you know and now you've literally been awake for like freaking 16 hours and i was just always tired i actually don't even know how i did that but i did and um so i just i really just i struggled a lot to be awake during that time because i was always so tired and i just never got enough sleep so literally when i get home if i get home at like eight for example i would get into the bath bath eat sleep that was my life. It was wake up, go to work, come back, sleep, do it again, you know? And it was, yeah, that was actually quite a sad moment, sad period in my life. And not because of work, but just because like, of everything, like it was just long hours. And it was long hours because I, my life was just like that. It was work, obviously. It was also, uh, not work, sorry. It was um, the fact that I stayed really far. I think if I stayed closer, I wouldn't have obviously had to be in up at quarter past four. But you know, I stayed far, and then I was allowed to drive, so I had to leave early. It was just a lot. He's, yo, it was a lot. But anyway, um, why am I even talking about this? Anyway, so I was saying, you see, uh, I had to adjust to for my vast experience of having all my time, can sleep in the afternoon, taking naps, nothing like that here. Uh, well, sometimes you can take a nap in your car during lunch but it's like a 45 minute nap it's not a three hour nap and then but now it's better obviously like i i think the longer working hours you just get used to it so yeah i'm really tired as i said i'm tired i think the reason why i had this, started this thing was because i said i was saying i'm tired but i'm tired now and i just want to let go but i can't go because i've got so much work that i've just been postponing for like of days and I just feel like so I need to do it now so I'm gonna do it now until about uh, half past five so I can just get ready for gym and then I'm gonna gym and then I'm gonna work again later tonight <sighs> I'm tired I'm, I'm going home now no, no I'm going to the gym actually um, I promised myself I'm going to the gym so um i'm not done at the day though i've got other work that i need to do at home but i'm tired i just need a break and so i'm gonna drive to the gym it's literally two minutes away from the office and then i'm in the gym and then go home get a shower 
eat and then work. It wasn't bad. I can definitely say that. It wasn't bad. Where is my finger there now? It wasn't bad. I think I managed. And I just realized that I'm wearing my top upside down. Like, I, no, I actually realized that plus. But, you know, I'm really proud of myself. I could give myself a hug right now for just being a holistic bay. I'm just a holistic bay. Uh, so, this is me at the end of the day um, after. A very long and tiring day um, as I said to you when I was at the office that I'm gonna go to the gym and then have to check my emails when I get home which is what I'm doing now so I'm just checking my emails and there's a couple of emails here that need my intention and so I'm going to just work um, a little bit and just finalize the day but this is me at the end of the day I've showered I've eaten and I'm just about to finish it is around nine o'clock um, at night and I am about to just finish my work off. Hopefully I won't be going on for more than an hour. But yes, I hope this video has become a little bit of an insight to what it looks like to be a lawyer in South Africa, a corporate lawyer in South Africa, let me say that. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this is what you were expecting to see and that um, if you do have any further questions, please, uh, comment on the, on the on the comment section below and answer your questions to the best way i can or alternatively talk to me on instagram let's chat let's just you know uh, engage um, but yes guys thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you for all your support and for all your messages i really enjoy reading every single one of your messages they are so inspiring to read and i'm so grateful that i can be an inspiration to somebody else and with that uh this is the end the end of the video and so uh please remember to like comment subscribe to our channel for all your notifications thank you thank you thank you so much family